Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Deus Ex. <laughs> Today, we'll hopefully finally get some answers from our brother Paul. Let's go meet him, shall we? Well, shall we? You can relax, JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. All right. Then. Excellent work. I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. You and will have a team here in a few minutes. The Great Death is a man-made virus. Everyone up to the president is at UNATCO's mercy as long as UNATCO controls the supply of Ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the Ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard of Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. Okay, then. So well, that's how it is, then. Get on the plane. We're almost ready to go. Blackmail of the U.S. government could not possibly escape the notice of the United Nations. Don't be so quick to trust the U.N. Are you kidding? The U.N.'s about the only chance we've got these days. If the U.S. spirals into another civil war... A pretext. Nothing more. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Is that so? Remember that the U.N. itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. Get on board. A UNACO security squad will be here any minute. The wealthy have always been the ones to profit from one world government. Alright then. Well. This explains a whole heck of a lot. Then. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed in Paul. I mean, even regardless of everything else, I've been endeavoring to be a non-lethal bugger this whole time. You know, going out of my way to avoid killing anyone at all. For the sake of not killing anyone. And all the while, I thought... Easy. We don't I thought want that, any trouble. I thought that Paul was on the same... Was on the same wavelength there. But if he's been working with the NSF this whole time, then perhaps his non lethal tendencies have just been a matter of. Well. Perhaps that's not the most important thing to focus on here, I admit. But, but it's what immediately popped into my head, so. Oh well. So then. I guess let's talk to Lebedev. Nice job hiding the fact that all the stuff is unloaded. Good job there. Uh, who is that handsome devil? Anyways. I'd love to brush off Paul's the accusations about the about all this stuff. About NS about the about our employers, but honestly, after all of the shit we've seen, all the news things, the, all the way from right, all the way from that second video, all boot camp for Betty, all of that, do we really have any good reason to even give them the benefit of the doubt? At this point, not which isn't, but that isn't to say that joining up with the NSF is a given. Who's to say they aren't even worse? You feel me? We'll keep our options open, though. Oh. That's the last one. Good work. 
Alright. Guess he has nothing to say about the hole thing. Fair enough. Uh, no. Fair enough. Well, I'll save here. But I've got I've got more than enough multi tools to grab it. Is it even worth it? I mean, I've got max multi tools and everything. Ah, fuck it. My. Bloody rat brain won't let me waste multi tools if there's a chance that I might be able to get the code later. Even when <laughs> gonna be waste probably gonna be wasting multi tools either way. Oh well. All right then, let's go talk to this guy. Well, hmm. It occurs to me that this could be a trap. That this could very easily be a trap. Like, they're told to stand down, of course, but that could just be an excuse to get me out of the open. To, uh, get me to not disable all these people and everything, or sneak by them. Scanning area. But, and then send me into there, where sub some guy who supposedly is Lebedev is waiting while they go come in and ambush me as soon as I do. Hmm. It might be smart to knock all these guys out just to be safe, but then there's still the turret that. Not to mention Paul. Paul alone could make a fearsome ambusher. You got anything to say about all this? Hey, you're the guy the Fed sent? I have something for you. What? How do you know anything about the feds? Oh, Lebedev, all his people right now, they're running around like ants thinking it's going to be a raid. Rich Bastard probably has some kind of drug deal about to happen. <laughs> anyway, filch this stuff from a guy's locker. I'm selling a recoil weapon mod for 400 I also have some shotgun shells I'll give you for 300 All right, then. You alone I can remotely trust to not stab me in the back here. I'll take the recoil weapon mod. Why not? Here's 400 for the recoil weapon mod. Appreciate it. And I appreciate your general candor. I don't particularly need this, but might as well. Uh, what a friendly guy. Anyways, I guess there's not much to do to stop that. Well, I guess there is one thing I could do. Hmm. I could. I could. Set up. Set up a bit of a, uh. deterrent. You know, make sure they don't. Fo uh, try and get them to not. try and ambush me. I mean, obviously. I put these down and, well, anyone even remotely observant is not going to just run right into them. And even if they do, there's pl they'll have plenty of, they'll have a good couple of seconds to run backwards before they die horribly. But it could be a very useful deterrent. Tell them, yeah, I'm not fucking around. Back the fuck off. Or at the very least, give me precious seconds needed to... Before they, dis before they disarm or detonate them from a safe distance or some such. To pull out the old Trink Dart crossbow and nail them a couple times. Maybe throw some gas grenades. I, j I put down some gas grenade mines, but those... Well, they just send in the, the fucking... Robots. In fact, they might just send them in either way to clear out the minefield. I mean, they probably suspect that I put up a minefield or something and send them in just to screen that. Maybe. Hmm. 
Yeah. Put down two of these. Well, there's also the additional thing of the fact that I'm maxed out on lands, whereas I'm not maxed out on the gas grenades. So I'll be less remiss being rid of these couple of lands. Yeah, that. Hopefully it'd be a nice, good old deterrent. Yeah. They won't see it from too far away, but they'll see it as soon as they come into here, which is more than enough time for them to stop. Ramble backwards. Yeah. You can also put them here, which might be better. Nah, whatever. If... This'll work. Now, then, let's talk to Lebanon. But first... <gasps> I'll take this pistol. And what is this? Blonde. Decker let me know that Killian dropped off a canister recovered during the operation. Decker wasn't sure what it was, but he put it in a suspension crate on, the, on board the plane, a plane, coded to 9905. Figured you'd know what to do with it. See you soon. Aaron. Okay! Now I know the code. Alright, let's go nip on over and grab that real quick. If this turns out to be a code or something completely different, I'm gonna be annoyed, but alright. There we go. What is it? What is it? EMP shield, ballistic protection. That's useless to me, isn't it? Which one was... Okay, which one was the uh, EMP shield and ballistic protection? Let me check real quick. Got a document. Yeah, that's subdermal, which means it's com it's competing with both cloak and radar transparency. That's not a winning competition. I'm just gonna... I admit, I'm tempted to bring it along with me, just for fun, you know? <laughs> just to have it along, since I've got infinite inventory space. That being said... I don't know of a good- I, I want to put it like here or something, maybe underneath this, but I don't know how to... Hmm. Let me see if I can, uh, put that there, and then... Huh. That's not how I expected that to go. I... I didn't realize it saved it like that. That's useful information, but it's kind of annoying right now. Oh well. I'll carry it with me, why not? Just for fun. Alright. I don't think there's anything else to do, so let's talk to Lebedev. I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. All right. We have much to learn from each other. We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. <laughs> you know Fair he enough. wouldn't betray UNATCO without a reason. Fair enough. What fucking lunatic just... What the fu... What fucking idiot just blew themselves up on my... Look at where the, the, ex the person exploded. That was well into here. They had every opportunity to, to go back. It's so much... They would further, like, along, even after the lambs started activating. What the fuck were they thinking? What? what? What fucking lunatic just blew themselves up? 
I'm not even gonna take credit for that kill. And the in theory it was my lambs that killed the person, but come on. Come on. What kind of idiot? God damn it. No one doesn't seem to be anyone else coming. Is that all? That wasn't Paul, that sounded like a woman's voice, or at least a high-pitched man's voice. Who the fuck was that? Whatever. Anyways, you were, you were talking? I guess Paul must have convinced you. Alright. We're alone. If you have proof of a conspiracy, let's hear it. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? Someone made you? Unatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Oh, me. Get to the point. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. You were made by a couple of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Your proof? You're the proof. You and Paul. When you get back to Unatko, pay attention. Something's not right. You're really working for a group of conspirators called Majestic Twelve. You expect me to believe there's a group of people powerful enough to control the United Nations? Oh. The UN and UNATCO are just a couple of their tools. Okay then. UNATCO has already occupied the airfield. Just go through the motions and report back to Liberty Island. I can't do anything for you here. MJ-12, huh? I saw that before, in the sewers, remember? Username MJ12, <gasps> password coup d'etat. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Coup d'etat? I think that's the right way. I know coup, the coup is pronounced that way. But never mind that. It's disturbing how plausible this all is, isn't it? Huh? Jesus, JC, that was Agent Navarre. What about Agent Navarre? I can't say I like the way she operated, but oh my god. What what happened Angela, to Agent Navarre? Have you shot? We what? have to erase the log files. I'll protect you this time. You better have a good explanation. For what? What what happened to Agent Navarre? What? Huh? What? No. There's no way. Surely she wouldn't be that. No. Surely not. I. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Nice of you to show up. All clear, sir. Well, that was all very confusing and a lot of it rather disturbing. Quite a lot of it, quite a lot of it was just stuff I already really kind of knew, to be honest. Oh. How did I miss this? I could put it on here, but honestly, the scope is kind of, well, it has some strange issues with it. Oh, I can put it on the rocket launcher. Sure, why not? How do I have... Yeah, not the most useful thing in the world, I admit. 
Oh yeah, I can only carry one because they're evil and they hate me. Alright, let's go. Oh, there's probably some way to get to that elevator or whatever. Hey there. Mandoli has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of the airport. <laughs> Standard procedure, it appears. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to be the one to execute Lebedev. Yeah, well, there was shooting on the 747. I didn't see what happened. Maybe Anna beat you to it. I will investigate. You might need backup. Hey, about my brother. A shame that we have to track down and kill one of our most advanced agents. At least we have one of you left. Don't you think we should give Paul a chance to explain himself? He's been with you, Natko, for years. Only one thing can happen when you break your oath to the Coalition. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about shooting. There was no shooting. But... Yeah. We're gonna figure out where, what the heck is the deal with this. Maybe there was an elevator back on the 747 somewhere that would have led up to here. Oh well. Lunter told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. The coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. You and officials Quite. will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm ready. Let's move out. Get in. So yeah, our brother Paul, working with the enemy. But who is the enemy? Who indeed? Alright, let's go and get debriefed. Vanderly wants you to stop by his office. Don't sweat it if he chews you out. I think you made the right decision by not killing Lebedev. Yeah. Don't worry. Manderly calmed down when he heard they picked up Lebedev. Alright then. I mean, he did surrender. This, what's the point of killing him if he's surrendered? And always kill him Mandalay's later. Blowing his top. You better go see him on the double. What is he blowing his top about? Maybe about whatever the hell happened to Anna. It's a question of who benefits society more. But who decides Excuse that? Excuse you? You? It's implicit. I think Paul just had a soft spot for the plague victims. Every human institution is like a pyramid. Those with ability are at the top. They're more important. <laughs> Excuse it's the me? the foundation that's important. When the foundation's gone, they make the decisions. They keep the machine running. Therefore, they must be protected first. I'm not saying Paul was right. It's basic tactics. Protect your command centers, your airstrips, your industrial zones. It's just the rationing. Seems like the government could pay VersaLife to manufacture more. Ah, uh, yes. The people with the ability are at the top, which is why everyone respects the politicians so much. No. Even in an ideal world, the people at the top, the, pe the I need leaders, a vacation. are not going to be the, the people with the most ability or the people that are most important. They're the people with the most ability of being leaders. That is a skill. It is not the only skill. It is not necessary that the leaders be the best of all of us. Just the best what of all of us it? at being leaders. And that, well, to expect such a state of affairs to already be in place, now that would be a grand and intoxicating innocence. And, and to claim that their lives are worth more to society. Now that, that is downright madness. You guys gonna start talking about lemon lime soda? Uh, I feel like there's supposed to be a, like a dialogue happening right now. Uh, 
Did I break something? Shit. Get everybody patched up. I did my best. You're looking good. Not Never felt better. They just dropped off a few liters of the ambrosia you recovered, by the way. Good work out there, Denton. I want you to know, we will not let your brother's activity cast its shadow on you. Yes, sir. I'm grateful for that. The fact that they feel I the need to say that sooner. just proves that no there will harm be. done. We have you to take his place. Is a few liters going to be enough? Well, no one on staff's going to catch Grey Dead this month. I saw you listening in. To what? Yes, it's true. I have augmentations like yours. Don't you work down in Washington? Actually, I'm the director of FEMA. Sounds like you wouldn't have much use for physical augmentations. You underestimate the demands of my work. We deal with every sort of natural and unnatural disaster you can imagine. But you're the director. You work behind a desk. Am I behind a desk right now? No, I'm not. That's because we have a situation here in New York. I got to my position because I can fix things. You will see shortly because as you have probably noticed yourself, this agency is broken and needs an overhaul. No argument there. Except that I, except that perhaps you are, that statement is too narrow in its focus. I'd say it's a lot more than just this agency that is broken. I wonder if you would be among those things. You and your convenient rationalizations. And your most peculiar you do? I chased them into the building. Weren't you scared? A little, but when I'm wearing this helmet, I've learned to set aside the instincts of a civilian and be completely professional. They had assault guns. Tactically, I had the advantage. It was important to act before the situation changed. How you troopers do it, I can't imagine. <laughs> you won't give up, will you? What's what? wrong? Agent Denton's the guy I met <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Uh, My vest caught a few slugs, but... I that I actually remember is that. Alright then. This will probably see for that debriefing. Back to the same old routine. Right. I can't believe it, JC. What got into Paul? I guess he got a better offer. <laughs> what a blow. I don't You're know how blow. he'll recover. It's almost like losing a son. I don't understand it myself, but we've got to go on. Is Manderly available? Go right in, JC. He has a lot to discuss. It's a living. All right then. I'm stealing your candy bar once again. Yeah. Take your op bonus. One thousand. No use you splitting hairs this time. I have some bad news about Agent Navarro. No you? shit. What the hell happened in there? Lebedev. A surprise attack. I find that hard to believe. You're digging your own grave if you cover up for your brother. Yes, sir. I'm not covering up for Paul, sir. Ha! <laughs> because he's gone, JC. Nice. I hope you'll understand this. The Coalition has shut down his augmentations and activated the kill switch. Excuse you? Activated. What? My thoughts Some exactly. very important officials have become nervous. Nervous about Paul, but also about you. I think I've proved myself. Can they really kill him? By pressing a button. Yes, and you too. I beg your Take fucking pardon. Seriously. They're sending you to Hong Kong. What about Paul? Will I get to see him again? Please, just get your equipment and meet our pilot jock at the helipad. You'll need to take out a man called Tracer Tong. Paul's contact in Hong Kong. Prove that they can trust you. JC? Yes. It's critical that they trust you. Yeah, no shit. Apparently, they hold the ability to just kill me on a whim with the press of a button. Or maybe it's not a literal witch, but 
Jesus fucking Christ. The only way to allay their suspicions of you, JC, is to actively work against your brother's allies. This is... You shouldn't have told me about this. This changes everything. It was it was damn foolish of you to tell me. This... This changes everything. It doesn't matter. It no, like, previously I had reservations. Worries that perhaps the NSF might be even worse than UNATCO and the government and all of that, but that doesn't matter anymore, does it? Does it? There's absolutely no way I can work with them. Not when they have a gun to my head at every moment. I mean, I'm gonna have to play along for now. But there's absolutely no way. There's absolutely no way. Either I slip their leash or I die trying. That's the, those are the only options. How are you holding me. up? Not so good. I don't know who to trust anymore. No one blames you about Lebedev. You refused an order to kill in cold blood. Precisely your duty as a UNATCO peacekeeper. Manderly certainly does. <laughs> He'll cool down. The important thing is that you obey your conscience. Indeed. Right. Tell me what you need, and I'll load you up. More tranquilizer darts, why not? I'll take the tranquilizer darts for the crossbow. A man of tactics. I like that. Quite. Albeit, perhaps not the exact tactics you might be thinking of. Or maybe they There's are. No time to be messing around. You might know a lot about built tactics, just as I do. I guess, but like you said, follow my conscience. Right now, my conscience is telling me that I cannot, I absolutely cannot, abide by the orders of people who would hold a gun to my head. Like, in such a profound way. What do you mean by overhaul? You will receive a memo in a few days. I am still collecting data. Unatco was very effective this evening. We recaptured the shipment. You don't have to worry, Agent. It's the softer elements I am after. Like who? You're beginning to exceed your clearance. What are you? Angel OA? Excuse my persistence. I'll wait for the memo. Good. Carry on. I said no more questions. And if they're really getting angry at me for not killing a man in cold blood, even though he had already surrendered, <laughs> there's no good reason to just off them like that. Not unless they wanted to kill not unless they really wanted him dead off the books in a way that it could be deniable that it was murder. Either way, they've shown themselves unable to be trusted with with human lives. And least of all, my own. How can I possibly work with them? I can't, can I? Not with a gun to my head like that. I could maybe have... <sighs> but no. It's just a matter of... when now. Hey there. What the hell were you thinking, JC? Agent Navarro was out of line. I had no choice. They'll have you killed. They won't even blink an eye. Neither did I. <laughs> well, watch what you say around Manderley. Let's leave it at that. I've been in contact with Gunther, by the way. No sign of your brother at the airport. He sure caused his share of trouble. I don't know what to think anymore. I wonder what it is he found out. Why he'd defect. He thinks he has proof of a conspiracy. Wild stuff, huh? I'd like to hear what he has to say. If you hear from him or if you find out where he is, don't worry about the info link. I'll erase the archives. You think he's right? Worth hearing him out. I've never known Paul to make a mistake. Okay then. So what I gather from all this is that Agent Navarre was intended to come in guns, guns blazing and take out the guy. 
So what I gather from all this is that Agent Navarre was supposed to, you know, come in all gung ho to kill the to kill the guy, despite the fact that he'd already surrendered and everything. And I was supposed to either let let her kill him or kill her, which is what I uh, did with my little land play. Not even actually here. I kind of sequence broke a little there. Whoops. Uh. And now they're mad at me for that. But Alex. He isn't. He's covering for me. And now they're, and now they're mad at me for not killing the guy. And allowing Anna uh, Anna Navarre to get killed, but they don't know that I killed her because Alex is covering for me. And you know what? That knowledge, the knowledge that he's willing to cover me, cover for me on this, that is a valuable thing. A very valuable thing. Unlike this ballistic shield slash EMP thing. That is not viable, though. Back to the same old routine. Huh. Indeed. <laughs> and this kill, this kill switch thing. I can't exactly. Obvious uh, work against them, obviously, until I found some way around it. But I can't. But with this thing active, there's no way I can just go Let's along go with them. Is there? Not when they could just decide to kill me at any moment. With no we'll miss you, or anything. Yeah, you will. Besides all of the other issues, the tyranny, the conspiracies, all that stuff, that's all important, don't get me wrong. But this kill switch business, that clinches it. That proves that there is, there is no way I can possibly work with them. Even if I was willing to go along with the conspiracies and everything, which I'm certain I'm sure some people would be willing to do that. With the right with the right assurances, if they could Even if they weren't like the kind of people who want to go along with the plots to rule the world and all that. I'm sure they could I'm sure many people would be willing to negotiate try and find some Amicable solution to all of this. But this, with a kill switch business, that dashes all hopes that anyone, that any reasonable person could have of that. So, yeah. Hong Kong, then. Let's go. I'm taking you to New York. Oh? My orders are to go to Hong Kong. Your brother's in trouble. You need to meet him in Hell's Kitchen at the apartment. What's wrong? Excuse me? I'll let him speak for himself. He just wanted me to get you to the hotel. Oh. Alright then. I might have more allies than I thought. Better should have <laughs> Quite. What are you doing? Okay then. Back in Hell's Kitchen then. To meet up with our brother once again. It's it. It's it seems between between Alex and Jock. 
and our brother Paul, and even maybe, maybe even Sam Carter. I guess we've got more allies than I suspected. Good. Good. A few good men is all it takes. But until next time, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.